Hey you guys, welcome to Romance Review TV with Lady T. Got an update video for you guys. Uh, this is the couple that left the island from Love Island USA Season 4, Kat and Jared. So in this video, we get an update on, you know, what's going on with their relationship outside of the villa. And also, they kind of go into details about a few interesting things on the show whether especially the one whether or not Nadja and Jeff are a real couple so stay tuned for all of that and then also we'll talk about it at the end of the video and I'll give my thoughts and then you know hopefully you'll start a conversation down in the comment section so without further ado also before we get into this make sure you like the video make sure you're subscribed and Turn the notification bells on so you can receive all updates. And don't forget to like and share. So without further ado, let's see what they're talking about. Like, yeah. it was a little bit forced to be, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend for In the, the both moment. of us. Like, we were like just right like... at the beginning. We had left the villa, the answer, I mean, the question got asked. And it just kind of got thrown at me. And um, I said, you yeah. know, we both said that we were going to go at our own pace. Yeah. And that I would ask her again. When the time is fitting. And uh, so I booked a hotel. Oh yeah, we're in a hotel right now. <laughs> and we have champagne. <laughs> because. Because what? Because he asked me guys to be his girlfriend for realsies. <laughs> But I said yes, obviously, because I was like, come on now. Right. I mean, you're going to tell them the whole story. Okay. I got, well, you're telling the whole story now. I Thank got you. I got flowers. He got flowers. He got champagne. He got mochi. Come on now. And a card. You can read it. Read it. It says, <laughs> it says, dear cat. Thanks for making the Love Island journey so special. I cannot wait to see where the journey outside the villa takes us. Love, Jared. And then he put 222 on the card because we happen to be seeing angel numbers 222 everywhere. So if somebody wants to further explain why we're seeing that, because we did a little research. No, it's actually insane how many times we've seen It's like multiple times a day and we've been together like every day since we left, so. Yeah, we've only had one day apart. apart since leaving the and that was last night yeah <laughs> so, so um yeah but big you, steps yeah. yeah why don't you tell them why don't you tell them what we got planned for the rest of the evening you know well at least we have dinner we have dinner we had a whole we spent the whole day i brought her to the dog park i introduced her to my friends that was a big step yeah she also i yeah if you I didn't met... already no she already met my mother had dinner with my mother um, you know, she she's already spoken to my dad on the phone, so she's well acquainted with, with my family. family. So yeah, he, he just has to meet mine, but they know about him, of course. Um, but no, yeah, so I'm excited. This, this is my girlfriend now. Well, we're gonna have dinner tonight, so you know, champagne. But yeah, to answer the elephant in the room, this is my man. This is also, if you guys did not know, my first relationship and his first relationship yeah. officially. So we've both been through like talking stages and like situationships. situationships for a very long time. And then, yeah, it's a lot of firsts for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm an Aquarius. And then we found out that our rising and our moon are the same. Which our rising is... Um, so we both have a rising in Aries. Aries and, and our, moon is our moon is Virgo. So... Do I speak Spanish? No, but I wish. He's trying to learn it. Yeah, I'm trying to learn Spanish. Yeah. But I don't know if anybody has any insight on what it means if you have the same rising and moon. But like, you know. Um, also, I had seen a question asking if Jeff and Naja are like actually... Together. Nah, Jeff and Nadja are legit as fuck. They are very legit. You know, Jeff, Jeff is my dog in there, and I walked in with Nadja, so I've, I've been able to get mine. close. So yeah. they, they, we saw them go from like what looked forced and then turned into 
you know, a blossoming friendship and then turned into something real. So, and, and I've had really deep talks with Jeff, probably more than a lot of guys in there. You know, maybe not at this point anymore because I'm not there anymore. But Jeff and I were super close. And I always got to hear a little bit from Naja and a little bit from Jeff. Yeah. And and they they are definitely great together. They're they're my dark horse and I and I wish the best for those two. So Who do you think is gonna win? Timmy and Zita? I think it's Timmy and Zita. I don't know. Like I, I Timmy and Zita is the easiest answer and I just it feel like we easiest. love Island Gods. I would love I plans. would love if Jeff and Naja won just because Naja is my bitch. But like yeah. Um I also I really like Timmy and Zita's relationship. So yeah. you know, I don't know. Like it we could be thrown for like a damn loop with that. I I mean I love them both. Like I we've been able to become friends with everybody in the villa. Timmy was one of the people I was super close with. Zeta, I became super close with. Zeta is the reason that I was, you know, still in the villa for more than a few days. Like, she basically, you know, steered the conversation um, to, you know, keep me in the villa for a little bit longer. So, you know, shout out to Zeta for keeping me in. And shout out to nice Chaz show. for keeping this girl around so, you know, I could, you know, take his girl. So. Shout out, Chaz. <laughs> <laughs> drink to that no but shout out Chaz for real so, do it they said speak, speak French. French oh wait wait let me answer this real quick are you guys a long distance relationship no we both live in LA yeah she lives about like 30 30 40 minutes yeah. away so that was that that's easy for yeah. sure okay go ahead um <laughs> bonjour je m'appelle Jared je parle français mon premier langue est français ma mère vient de Paris Et euh, je viens de Los Angeles. Mon père, il vient d'Angleterre. Quoi, donc, euh, on habite à Los Angeles, nous deux. Et c'est mon amour, mon chéri, mon titre. I don't know what he said, but... Voilà. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's don't worry about it. What's next? Mm. What do your parents think of each other? Well, you can... I haven't met her parents yet, so we'll see about that. But at least, you know, my mom said, you know, quote, she's so smart and so adorable. Um, you know, and my parents have been rooting me on this whole time, at least in terms of this relationship. And, uh, you know, so they gave me advice on, on some of the some things to, to bring tonight in terms of, you know, Flowers, chocolates, all these kinds of things. Um, so they they love cat. Well, doing good. They've been able to to get to know cat, but you know either over the phone or or in mm -hmm. person. So our parents, or at least my parents, I don't know what her parents are feeling, but my well, parents, I was talking to my mom. I don't know if she's in here right now, but I was talking to my mom, and she she asked like when they get to meet him, and then I was like, well, whatever, because you still have to meet Stella, you know. Yeah, but, I, got, um, I gotta meet Stella. From what she was saying, like, she's really happy for us, and she likes you, and she likes that I'm happy, so she's, like, all for it. <laughs> but, um, uh, I'm trying, are you finding any? I'm trying to read these. Oh, mom! <laughs> <laughs> My mom is in here. <laughs> What'd she say? Hi, sweetie. That's so funny. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. So. Beverly, what a beautiful name that is. I said that before, too. Oh, yeah, he did. He did say that. Anyways. <laughs> Next. Oh, wait. We probably only have, like, ten minutes, guys. Oh, yeah, so. we, have to, we have dinner reservations. <laughs> Hi, Brett. Um, just, I'm going to ask him to ask it in here, unless you see any that you want to answer. Because we do have dinner soon and I don't want to okay. rush them. Um, yes, Jared is going to be in a mukbang, guys. It's happening, mukbang. it's happening. Mukbang. Yeah. Are you guys exclusive? If you, have, yes, if you guys 100%. have any food uh, food ideas for what he should eat, because I had a few, but we'll, we'll uh, write it down. Um, when you first came into the village, did you guys think you'd be together? Mm, good. 
Um, well, I, you know, I've had like a, a type that I was like looking for and I don't think it was in the villa. So when I saw a cat walking in, like my eyes were immediately drawn to her, but you know, I was getting to know everyone else. And, um, you know, the funniest thing that we've noticed, at least for the both of us, is that all of our friends had texted us separately saying, <gasps> You know, this is true. Yeah, my friends were like, "You gotta talk to Cat. Like, you gotta bag Catherine. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta couple up with Cat." And so everyone that I, once I checked my phone, as soon as we got outside the villa and we're on the train home, mm -hmm. I'm checking all my text messages, and they all say, "You have to get with Cat. You have to get with Cat." So it was, it was there. You no, know, we were sitting there and we were showing each other our messages, and my friends were like, "Jared, get Jared," <laughs> and his friends were like, "Cat, Cat, Cat." But um. It's just, we were talking about it earlier today and we were talking about if we had come in and like coupled up immediately, how things would have been different. Yeah, I mean, I honestly don't give a shit. I'm, I'm happy with where we're yeah. at. So I like, think everything happens. Yeah, I think it to. happened how it was supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that things went the, the way that they did. So, you know, they didn't want us to win. They didn't want us to win. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. That, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but um, someone said the beer. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about each other? What's my favorite thing? I just love how independent she is, and um, I love that she loves food and that we can enjoy it together. And and you best believe that we've been. Eating plenty good, and we've got plenty of dates, you know, ahead. Oh, yeah. Food is, like, the headliner of every date. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, but my favorite thing about him is probably that, and this is what, like, first struck me, and I was like, whoa, is that you're so aware of yourself, mm -hmm. and you're, like, aware of your feelings, and just your emotions as a whole. I don't know. Like, a lot of people, you know. Like, well, I appreciate that. <laughs> but I was like. Coming into the villa, I was like, I need a man who's, like, emotionally intelligent and is very aware of himself. And then for him, we were just, like, going on about, like, the aspects of a relationship. Like, shut up. The aspects of a relationship <laughs> and, like, what goes into it and how you need to work on yourself before you go in a relationship and whatnot. So, yeah, for us just to be on that same page and just... Mm. Yeah, I think, you know, both of us can say that you know, we are, you know, wise beyond our years. Like, you know, we are young, but, you know, I think we've learned a lot. And I think even in the whole Love Island process has been a, such a big, like, you know, self-growth, you know, positive experience about learning stuff about who we are and, like, how to share that with somebody else. Yeah. So I mean, it is, I, I tell everyone, when I got out, I told everyone it's a literal pressure cooker in there. Like, how people are like, how are you, how are you guys already dating or how is anybody already, like, coupled up? Two days in the villa is literally like two weeks, month. Yeah, it's, it it's goes, wild. It's like it's think the about most think about like experience. how long you you know you go on dates with somebody, you spend maybe an hour oh to two God. hours with them each time, and you maybe go on what one or two dates a week. Mm -hmm. So think about spending twenty four hours. hours a day, seven days a week, you know, yeah. sleeping in the same beds or in the same room. Mm -hmm. always around each other it's just like massively accelerated and there's no outside distractions so you really get a true feeling for who you know the person is fully so i think that's like why things move so fast and and why you see like people can actually like fall in love in the show or you know make these strong connections and make these friendships that you know will last a lifetime so yeah let's see what's for dinner i think we're going to a little steakhouse we're going to a steakhouse. Also, everyone's asking for dinner fits and we'll story it, right? Yeah, you'll you'll see the dinner fits later. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah? You think we're good? Yeah. I gotta pee really bad, so I've been holding it, guys. Yeah, we've, we've had a couple of glasses of How champagne. many outfits? Oh, a lot of people were asking about the packing process. And they basically just said pack for six weeks. Bruh, okay. I had a hell of clothes. I had enough clothes to last me every oh. single day. New outfit. And then also put everybody else in clothes. Yeah. I would like. And also, everyone in the villa, this was a common question. Everyone in the villa borrows each other's things. So my dress, I had the, the red leather dress that was floating around a few times. The black V dress that I came in. 
the yellow dress Zita wore was mine. So we all switch off and bikinis too. And he let a lot of guys wear yeah. his clothes. You might recognize this. Timmy was wearing this one night. I think it was the night that he came back from Casa Amor. Um, I also gave Timmy the white, you know, mesh shirt that he was wearing on his date. Um, all the flannels that Chaz was wearing, those were mine. The headscarves, obviously, I'm not wearing a headscarf now, but the headscarf seemed to be a staple of something that I was wearing. Um, so, yeah, our clothes were everywhere amongst the people. She oh, still has clothes. Bikinis were washed, guys. Sorry, let me uh, clarify that. Bikinis were washed. <laughs> we yeah. weren't just, we had laundry days. <laughs> yeah. We weren't just swapping things. We had but, one um, laundry day a week, so. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. Well, I think I think we're gonna get ready for dinner. We don't we don't have a whole lot of time left, but it's been great chatting with y'all. Um, did y'all smell of your finals? <laughs> oh my goodness, nah. But I, interesting choice with the the fully open shirt. But we're 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 out of here, folks. You know, I drank all my my champagne, so here you go. Thank you. Um, everyone applaud Jared for his props of this amazing date night because you really popped off. And the note with the tutu on it. You yeah. really popped off. You did. It was so cute, guys. I was like, God damn. But, um, yeah, we'll definitely go live again. I think there's a lot of unanswered questions, but yeah. we got places to be. Yeah, we got, we got more coming soon. We'll give you more of the routines, mukbangs, all that food and whatnot. But you'll be seeing plenty more from us, you know. First boyfriend, first girlfriend type shit right here. So Yeah, that's weird. I don't that's weird. Yeah. When's the Disney date? That's coming soon. Don't worry. That that'll get documented as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Alright y'all. Okay. Bye guys. Okay, so it was a really great video. It looks like that they are officially boyfriend and girlfriend, so they are 110% exclusive. Um, we also heard a little bit more about what life was like in the villa. Um, there were other things that they talked about. I just wanted to bring up the highlights on this video. The total uh, live was about 45 minutes. So you can go over to her IG on X Catherine Rose and you can check out, you know, if you want to see the rest of that. But I kind of wanted to give the highlights. Now, in regards to the whole thing with Naja and Jeff, because if you guys have been listening to my recaps, you know, lately I've been feeling like I'm not sure a little bit about Naja. I know Jeff look like he's 100% all in. But as regards to Naja, and then especially with last night episode, you know, I wasn't really sure. And I've been seeing things on social media about that as well, which is probably why they got that question. But they were there inside of the villa. They're saying that not only are they a couple, but they are a solid couple at this point. So, I mean, anything is subject to change. But if they're happy and it looks like that they're doing well and they even called them the dark horse or underdog, I'm sorry, underdog, thinking that they could come up from behind and slip up and win this thing uh, at the end remains to be seen. It's interesting that they said that they project Timmy and Zeta to be the winners. So, I mean, a lot of us is expecting that. And I think Timmy is expecting that, too. He's trying to coast through this thing. And I'm just hoping his the whole thing is solid with Zeta. So, that's where I am with that. But it was pretty interesting. They were also asked about um, the other guy that was in there with Deb. That information is on her channel. So I wanted to, I mean, on her platform. So I wanted to leave some meat on the bone for you guys to go over there. If you have Instagram to, to you know, to um, find out about that as well. And some other things that they talked about. So um, I'm glad to hear that they are now official. They're solid outside of the villa. They're talking about traveling. The parents like them. Now, he hasn't met her parents. She's met his parents, and they absolutely adore each other. But look like the mom and some family members of Kat was in the live. So, uh, more than likely, they're looking forward to meet Jared as well. So, look like this is coming together pretty well with these two. They're talking about doing some traveling and stuff. And honestly, 
The Aquarius and the Sagittarius is an awesome match. And then, of course, they match on the rising and the moon signs as well. So that seemed to be pretty solid. And so they had their little date night. I showed those here in this video as well. So let me know your thoughts. Let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. And until the next video, because you know I like to keep you all guys all updated with anything that I come across. But until the next video, take a second to make sure you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to like and share. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.